So this was supposed to be recorded earlier, but um, when I was going through all the stuff in my package, I realized your boy forgot the powder. So I ordered a good chunk of the makeup first and then I ordered the powder later. So, but today we're gonna talk about my bitch and her new makeup from Pony Effect. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when Pony's Pony Effect makeup line came out, the only thing I really got from it was the contour palette, which I really like but she came out with like a new actual like basic line of makeup but I'm like living for this yeah I got a little bit of everything in there minus um any lip products because I didn't really see anything that I liked there so uh we're gonna try everything today so of course the packaging is slaying even just the boxes everything has that matte black with like a rose gold font or a cap the foundation itself is like a frosted glass bottle with um this gold this rose gold top now, I think she did a good job in that the packaging feels kind of cheap, but she made it look a little bit more on the bougie, expensive side. So I think she did pretty well with that. The first thing that we're going to get into is Pony Effect Seamless Foundation. You get 30 mils or 1.01 fluid ounces. I don't know what the 0.01 is for, but anyway, um, you're supposed to shake it well before use. And the thing is, there's actually five shades of foundation in this line, which is actually really good for a Korean makeup brand. I have mine in the deepest shade, Nude Beige. There's like two yellow shades and two pink shades, um, and then one really fair shade. The thing is, I still think Nude Beige is still kind of light, even a little bit for me maybe, so I might have to take it down my neck. And she actually also came out with an applicator. This is the Pebble Blender. Um, I guess it's her version of like the magic complexion sponge or whatever from real techniques or the beauty blender itself um the shape is really interesting i think this will work really well for getting under the eyes and just like covering a large area in general i really like this flat side and this would be really good for right here getting into the corners and everything so i'm going to actually um wet this first and i'll be right back so the sponge is actually way bigger when it's wet and it's quite squishy which is a good thing. Um, I really like it when a sponge is really bouncy and uh, when I apply a foundation. I hate the sponges where they're like really, really hard because then I feel like I'm just punching myself in the face. This is really random, but I like how the packaging looks like this because um, when I'm working with a sponge and I don't want to just like put it down on my desk, I like to sit it like in a container like that or something just so that, you know, if I need to use it again, it's not just touching the desk where I feel like it can start collecting germs. But anyway, here's the foundation. I'm gonna twist off. Oh wait, shit, no. No, that's not it. It's a uh, it's a cap and it has a pump, which is good because if you're gonna pay that much for foundation, I want a pump. So I'm gonna dot my face. This is like how Pony does her foundation. Wow, that one pump is already gone. Ooh, okay. It's kind of like starting, it's right now it's like a light coverage and it looks like skin, which is always a good thing. Um, we'll see how well this layers, but so far I'm really liking it. I can tell it adheres really well to the skin, like it sticks close to the skin. I'm not sure if it's coming off really light on camera, but um, it's a pretty good match for me. I'm between like an NC20 and 25, um, so that's for reference. So there's that on uh, this part of my face. I have quite a bit of peeling because I got the, this treatment at Troy Peel again. Um, and I'm peeling a lot, especially around my smile lines. So we'll see how well that glides over that. My skin is peeling a lot, which is really annoying, but it's not super dewy, which I thought it was going to be. It has like a satiny finish, I guess. I'm really liking this sponge though. It's making applications super, super quick, but I will say that I guess it wouldn't give the best precision um, depending on your needs, because it's such a big sponge. Um, depending on like the features of your face, you might need um, a slightly smaller like corner on it. Um, but I find it's pretty good. It's glided over my pores. I feel like it might settle in my fine lines, but that's why I use powder. You see what I'm peeling right here? Well, other than that, it looks really good. 
I would say that um, my scar isn't really covered here. Um, so I'd probably use concealer over that. Um, but other than that, if you have pretty good skin and it's just a matter of uh, evening out most of your skin tone, I think this works really well. And the finish looks just like skin, which I find really important in foundation. So next I'm gonna set my makeup with the Pony Effect Skin Fit Powder Packed, which I honestly thought when I first saw it, I thought it was a cushion, um, BB cream foundation or whatever, but it's just a powder. There's a compartment under that has this really squishy sponge, which I really like. Um, the material isn't really like a cushion BB kind of material, but it's more like a really soft velvet. And let's just try using the sponge on one side and I'll see how it works, then I'll Put it on the other side with a brush. Whoa, okay. That's like really matte. But it doesn't really look like powder, so that is a good thing. I think using this puff is really easy. Um, the, just the shape of it in general. I really want to use a brush. Um, I did get this in uh, the same shade, Nude Beige. All the foundations have a powder that uh, matches it, so that is a good thing. So I don't think this is like an HD powder, but it doesn't make me look cakey or anything. Uh, you just might want to be careful, especially with using a sponge. It could possibly make you look cakey. On this side, I'm going to use um, a brush. This is the Real Techniques one. Uh, it's like the multi-tasker brush or something. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like that more. Um, the powder itself is a little bit on the harder side. It doesn't kick up much powder when you put your brush into it, which is a good thing. Um, so you can put on just enough powder to set the foundation without it looking too cakey or, you know, dry and all that. Do I look like really ghostly on camera? I'm sorry. But in person, it's like a really good match. I'm sorry, I know this like offends some people, but it actually does match me in person. And I think this foundation and powder combination gives you like really good looking skin. It looks natural, but like I feel like it actually does something to your skin um, as opposed to those foundations where they look natural, but they don't really do anything to your skin. So the powder, really good. It's not like amazing or anything, but um, if you want, if you don't like dewy looking skin, the powder works really well with the foundation. And also if you have oily skin, um, I guess powder is a necessity. So there aren't any new contouring or highlighting stuff, so I'm just gonna go in with the uh, Pony Effect That Girl Luminous Contouring Palette um, that I already have, and I'm just gonna shade and contour and all that on my face. Yes! I'm about to hit pan on divine work. That's when you know your girl is dedicated as hell. So as you can see, that palette in general makes for a really good natural sort of highlight, contour, all that. I have the Pony Effect Sharpening Brow Definer in Ash Brown. This is good for people with like black hair or for me since I have gray hair. I think it'll go well. Um, I think what she was trying to do with this is make something similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz because this sheet is tiny as hell. Do you see that shit? Okay. Um, yeah, you're gonna have to put a little bit of pressure because this formula is really hard, which can be a good or bad thing. Good because it makes the brow look very natural and you, it's easier to avoid the whole like stick on brow look. But for those people that are like in a rush or have a lot of um, brow to fill in then this might take you a while. So there's one brow filled in. It's a little more natural looking than I usually go for, but I like it. The really small tip really gives me um, the precision that I need. Oh, and I forgot to say that it comes with a spoolie at the end, so you can brush out any of the lines and make it look more natural. Which honestly makes no sense to me, because if you're, why are you gonna draw in the lines and then like blend it out with a spoolie brush anyway? Um, what I'm gonna say about this is that you can't really build up the intensity, I guess, of the pencil. It kind of stays one color. 
So um, if you want to make the ends of your brows here like more dark, you can't really do that. Um, the pencil is okay. Um, if you don't have that much eyebrow to fill in, this would make a good option. Say like me where it's kind of just like empty here and a little bit here. Um, this would be a good brow pencil, but if you need a little bit more, um, I'll probably go with a powder eyeshadow. So this one I'm super excited for. It's the Pony Effect Contoured Brow Color. And this is just a eyebrow mascara sort of thing, but it comes in all the same colors as the pencil, but there's also actually a customize. This is the customizing shade. I think what you're supposed to do is do your eyebrows with the pencil first and then use this and then use another one of these brown mascaras in another color to change the color of your actual eyebrows. I felt like I didn't really need the other brow uh, mascaras and I just wanted this one because, I don't know, because my hair is gray. I just, I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, the applicator itself is kind of interesting. One side up here, um, the bristles are a lot longer. And then on this side, they're shorter. Customizing color is kind of just like a really light concealer looking shade. So I don't know how it's going to go, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, hell. What have I done? Uh, oh, my. <laughs> I look like an old man. <laughs> Now because it's a very sticky base and it sets the eyebrows, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my regular eyebrow shadow um, or the eyeshadow I use for my brows and I'm going to kind of go over this stuff that I just used to try and color my brows again. Oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad we tried this shit together. So, what are my opinions on the contoured brow color? It's a really good, I, like the product itself is really good, but I would get it if, well, one, um, you can probably just get it in your actual hair color and you'll have no problems. It'll set your brows. Um, the formula, ooh, feels like gel for the brows. It'll set your brows really well in the shape you want. I always have a problem with my brows like drooping down. So you can set your brows going up and all that, whatever shape you want. Um, if you have, say, like red hair, but your eyebrows are like naturally black or something, um, you can use the customizing color to blank out your brows basically, and then wait for them to dry, and then use the uh, col use a different color to actually color your eyebrows. So I would use it in that way. Obviously, I would need to get a color um, to use after this, but we'll we'll look past that. We'll look past that. Now it's time for a little bit of eyeshadow. I have four shades of the um, Pony Effect Stay Put Eye Sticks. These are supposed to be eyeliner slash eyeshadow sticks. They're thicker than eyeliner so that you can apply them all over the lids as like an eyeshadow, but they're thin enough so that you can use them as like a liner. I think they're like 4.5 millimeters or something like that. Oh shit, I forgot to mention. When I bought this stuff, um, it came with like this mini brush set, which is so freaking cute. You like pull it open and then you get these three brushes. You punch it out and then you just pull it off. That is so cute. This is supposed to be just a cheek brush. This is supposed to be a lip brush right here. And this is supposed to be an eyeshadow brush. Um, I can see the cheek brush kind of being used as like a touch up for powder or whatever. But other than that, um, they're kind of useless to be honest. Um, they're really soft and everything, but um, I can't really see myself using these on like a daily basis. Maybe like as a travel sort of thing, which I think this is what it's meant for. But um, you know, that's what it comes with. All right, so I'm gonna start with Cup of Joe along the lash line. Ooh, I like that color. It's almost my skin tone, but it has like a sort of mossy brown green undertone to it. So I think it would be good for adding sort of a definition to the eyes without being obvious. I'm adding this sort of like V shape in the outer corner. These colors are so freaking smooth and easy to apply. Um, they don't really tug. You don't really need to uh, push down hard. You kind of just touch your skin with it and it glides right along. Now I'm going to take deep focus, which is like that deeper neutral brown. I'm going to use this mostly on the outer V. Deep focus is really good for enhancing what you did with Cup of Joe. Um, and in general, I think it would be a good color for deepening the outer V or socket. Um, so this is another one of the colors I would get. Next, I'm gonna take Overthinking, that sort of rose goldy sort of color. And what am I gonna do with it? 
put it in like the middle here to highlight that area. It's kind of like a natural highlight, I would say. And then last but not least, I'm going to use Rose Dress to kind of, I don't, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with this color. I'll just put it here to make my eyes look infected. Yes. Do you see how it kind of makes my eyes <clears throat> that sort of sore color? I like that look, so that's what I'm going to use it for. But um, I can definitely see it going all over the lids and then putting like, you know, a neutral color in the crease. And I think this is one of those cute colors. Pff, that's just me though, that's the lap I'm gonna leave. So that is the finished look. My final thoughts on this collection. I'm pretty happy with it. I think everything is pretty good quality. Um, I like how she doesn't have things in there just to have things in there. She has like all the basic things that you would need for like a basic um, makeup kit or a collection or whatever. Out of all the stuff, I definitely just recommend all of it. The only thing is like the foundation and powder. You're kind of limited by the shades that they do have, but I do recommend them. If you're interested, I will link all the stuff that I use down below. And I'll also link my Instagram and Snapchat so you can uh, follow me there as well. And yeah, I guess I'll just see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, what? This is a pony bag. I got... <laughs>